jedna sestra bratra měla na vojnu ho vystrojila košilku mu vyválela ty se na něm běhala a šňůričku zavázala Vy se na něm červeněla Přeci páni z vojny jedu Mého bratra koně vedu Na 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 Kam se mého vrátra dali? Na tom francouzskom pomezí odrůbaná hlava leží. A na 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 Kde 
nikdo nepřistál rád pro toho stejná. Včera spíš pro svůj strach byl tichý pastevek, či vyděděný So what we did was to create a program which would involve about 25 different cultural institutions both here in New York and in Prague. And when we put together the program, for example, the Impermanent Places exhibition, we brought together a curator here in the United States named Charlotte Kotick and a curator in Prague, uh, Joschka Skalnik, and they selected the work and the organization of getting the artists to New York was done with the help of the Soros Center for Contemporary Art. Uh, in the music program, we worked with SEM Ensemble here in New York and with Prague Spring in Prague with Peter Donyek. And so we kept following this procedure throughout all of the different programs with Dance Prague or Tanes Praha in Prague for our dance program with Sarah Skaggs Dance Company here in New York. And so we continued that in this literary program, as I said before, into the, all of the visual arts programs. And that's how we started putting the festival together.
when I started, it used to be uh, the young kids. I was like eight or nine years old. Uh, I bring them home the trombone. I try to try play the trombone just the two weeks. And after I see the big band, this time was very famous big band in Czechoslovakia, Karel Vlach. And uh, I just played his trumpet, Richard Kuberna, excellent player. Then I was very excited. I said, okay, I love this instrument. And after that, I switched quickly to trumpet and keep it all my life this instrument.
I think so the, the jazz music is original, of course, coming from the United States. And today's jazz music is uh, the most international language. Because the, a, lot of, a lot of famous musicians, like in New York City, is from, from Brazilian, from Cuba, a couple of musicians from Czechoslovakia, from Germany, from French. And, it used to be mostly like like 50 years ago, only American musicians, not too many European, not too many from other countries. And now it's a really international mix. So I think so because it's good, uh, good idea because it's, uh, everybody brings something new, and the mix make it new music. And I think so because because it's nice. For a few years after coming to the United States, I was uh, doing storytelling and, uh, and I mixed some marionettes in it. I had only three marionettes and then 10 years ago, actually, I did a show here at the Janhus Church. We're here in the Czech neighborhood of Manhattan. And they told me they used to have a puppet theater there and I kept asking about their puppets, what happened with them until they led me to the attic where there was a trove of old marionettes, 100, 150 year old marionettes in an old chest that have not been used since 1937. And they took me uh, six years to get to it, to find time and money to start a marionette theater. And we did the classic uh, Faust, which is the very old marionette play. And this is our fifth season now. We've been doing Faust, we've been doing the White Doe, and this is Rusalka, the Little River Maid, a um, famous Czech legend that was also made into an opera by Antonin Kozak.
However, I would say that the Czech film is very special. And I think Americans have a long way to go to reach that. In the United States, the, the puppetry is also considered something that's for, for, for little children. I've quite often encountered that. And the, the repertory we do, like Faust and the White Doe and Rusalka, is really adult <coughs> repertory. I was quite surprised that the children were able to take it. And uh, the other thing is the American audiences are not used to see classical marionette theater. It's a, it's a big revelation to them quite often. And of course, performing with antique hundred-year-old marionettes like we do is a big surprise for them too. In the past 10 years, I was uh, working on a large project of many installations in Brooklyn Museum. Those were projects by American artists. And it was always my wish that I could do something similar with the work from Czechoslovakia, because I know that there was so much going on, so many interesting things. I always gravitated to this impermanent art form, because I feel there is something extremely lively and rejuvenating in itself, precisely in the fact that we are not dealing with one object which becomes a commodity, 
And also there is a tradition of installations in Prague. It was a form which was in many ways more possible or available for the artists to create during the times when they didn't have access to regular uh, art establishments. Dare, said the mouse, the world is growing smaller every day. It scared me first. I kept running and running and was glad when I saw walls to the right and left. But those long walls kept narrowing. So quickly, and now I'm in the last chamber, and there in the corner is a mouse trap I am running into. In the context of the celebration of Prague in New York, I am presenting the exhibition of the Mini Salon. It is a project that includes artworks by 244 artists from Bohemia, Moravia, and Slovakia. Ten years ago, I invited these artists to send me small boxes of their art without censoring the themes or ideas. For 10 years, I had to hide these boxes from the police until the moment when, after the revolution in 1989, they were exhibited for the first time in Prague. The servant did not understand me. I went to the stable myself. let's say the mechanism of the support in art, especially in the society where art until now was very much supported by state. But the support by one source also means control by that source, whether it's a source which is a state or whether it's a source of the private money. There is always a control mechanism involved in that. Thus, the society which is actually evolving should try to establish as many different sources or as many different mechanisms for supporting of different kinds of art. Because what absolutely is a, is a killer of art is the centralization. In my opinion, artists should not think at all about how their work will be received by society. Because the people in control of the institutions that make decisions about culture have slipped into a totally different sphere, which is business. Art is becoming business. There are many interesting creative activities happening, but they often are not documented or supported. There are many interesting artists and musicians, but only a few are released on CDs. 
art has become a business. And as Marcel Duchamp once taught, the art object has become a commodity. Therefore, I think that the duty of each artist should be to go into subversive creativity. Málo kdo to natočí na kompakty. Prostě umění se stává obchodem a jak když si řekl Marcel Dušan, umění se stalo spotřebním zbožím a povinností nebo přirozeností každého umělce je přejít do tvůrčí ilegality. When what is happening in the music is so strong, and when it is supported by one or two words, and when those words fit, then it is the strongest and the most perfect. Some people have been asking me what I'm singing about, but I don't have the need or the desire to tell them, because I think that people abroad may understand the song more if they do not understand the words of the song. 
třeba možná to i víc pochopí, aniž by tomu textu rozuměli vlastně, o čem to je. Jo? Tak 
No, je to pravda, že to je. It is true that life with a man is hard, but life without men is also impossible. Although I admire many women, I do not support feminism. When a woman is doing art, she needs to experience maternal feeling, and she needs the ability to live in peace with a man. Then her art will be stronger. I feel that a woman is in some way limited if she has never had a baby. I can feel it right there, that she has not had the experience of maternity and that she is somehow cold. Že to není úplně to babský. Víš, co myslím? Že tam není cítit to mateřství, ale je to v něčem jakoby chladný, jo? V zahradě sedí svatá paraskevá a zpívá. V zahradě sedí svatá paraskevá a zpívá.
V zahradě sedí svatá Paraskeva a zpívá. Děkuji. I'm against TV. Most wouldn't agree. But I feel it would be great to abolish it for at least half of the year. That would really drive some people crazy, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 